Brian Anderson along with Grant Hill and Brent Bear. Well, this is traditionally an important conference matchup. What were some of your experiences in these type of games, Brent? I well, spent a lot of time in the Western Conference, BA. Obviously, a bunch of good rivalries, but back then, you usually had to go through the Lakers to get where you wanted to be. So, a look at our starters for the Heat. Brandon Clark out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Tyus Jones. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Sharp in at the two-guard position. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. Leonard against Levine. Leonard, good. Now, you don't try to search out the mid-range jumper in the analytic age, but Kawhi Leonard does, and it works. Doncic into the lane. And Doncic hammers it home. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage Ooh. having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Here's Sharp, hounded by Beal. Sharp passes to Clark. Two points. That one goes. Good pass from the two-guard Sharp. Solid at finding his open man. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Beal. Back to Doncic. For three, Collins. Valanciunas with a rebound. And it's Jones with the ball for Miami. Leonard passes to Sharp. Out to Leonard from downtown. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. No good on the quick three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Doncic, and Doncic hammers it home. What energy on the drive from Doncic. Charging in before the defense can seal up the gaps. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brent? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry. And then they do a great job of starting them during the year. What I mean by that is just making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat, and that includes playing time. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Doncic against Jones. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Clark, no good. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Doncic. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And going right through the contact, Luka has tremendous strength, especially for a guy who handles the ball so much. Here's Jones. In the game against New York, very impressive. Pass to Valanciunas. Leonard on the wing. Over Levine. And there's Leonard on the assist from Valanciunas. Leonard's gotten his second bucket of the game. The Hornets with the lead. On the wing, Levine. Leonard defending. Doncic deciding where to go with it. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Zubats comes with a double team. Leonard for three. Hits a three-pointer. Leonard's got seven. Why typically solid from three. You're not sure you want to leave him open like that. And Doncic hammers it home. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Beal outside. Launches a three. Knocks down the long J. And I'm not sure. Bradley Beal has to be somewhere high up on the scouting report, and the defense lost him. 
Jones against Doncic. Tries the nine-footer. Collins with the rebound. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. And it's Doncic on the drive. Kicks it out to Collins. And the Hornets, another three. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Pass to Leonard. Tipped. Terrific defense from Zubas. His team relies on him to help halt the shots. Outside Levine. Fires the three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got his third assist of the night. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. Their reserves have to step up this time around and get stops. That was the difference the last time these teams played. Wiggins, he's checked in for Charlotte. Gary Trent Jr. comes in for Zach Levine. And Miami also making a switch. Hardaway's checked in. Alan Tunis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on even to Zubac. Alan Tunis, a mountain of a man out there. And that catches up with the matchups defensively. Good on both. Well, this is the first of two consecutive games between these teams. These mini-series are becoming a fixture in the NBA regular season. You're right, but it also it adds a real sense of excitement. You know, no team wants to drop two straight games to the same opponent. So the tension's a little higher than usual. Doncic against Jones. Let's the three fly. Drops in the three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And here's Doncic. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Eight-point game. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. Back to Jones. Clark against Wiggins. Clark, the pass to Valanciunas. Shot clock at four. And the layup is up and in. It's so hard to move a mountain, trust me. Major damage on the boards being done by Valanciunas. Jones against Doncic. Three-pointer, Beal. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Beal's got six points. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Clark with a screen on Doncic. Jones from outside. Defense at its best from Doncic. I like to see him putting that much effort into his D. The kick out to Wiggins. And the Hornets, another three. An <laughs> excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Jones against Doncic. From 12 feet, Jones misses. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. It's Beal on the wing. Wiggins outside. Doncic passes to Zubac. And it's slammed in by Zubac. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, that type of injury is always worrisome. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health, number one. Everything else comes after that. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Favors checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Highsmith comes in for Clark. Leonard's checked in for Sharp. And it's Horton Tucker in for Jones. Plumley's checked in for Charlotte. Zach Levine comes in for Bradley Beal. Hardaway, no good. Might like a duel over there. Quality look inside. Doncic passes to Wiggins. Shakes him. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got assist number eight now on the night. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. The three favors. That one no good. 
Levine surveys the D. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Hornets out in front. They lead by 18. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Well, the attack can come from a lot of ways, either execution or by just getting on the bounce and driving it in, and that's where they've been very effective tonight. Mason Plumley out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Gary Trent, then it's Luka Doncic, and it's Levine in at the three. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hornets. A qualified interior scorer. Favors uses size and skill to beat his man. Doncic into the lane. Miami grabs the miss. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. They had a lot of breaks go their way in that game, and hey, they cashed in when they could. Yeah, the last game it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively forcing a lot of those turnovers and that helps build your defensive confidence the kick out to Wiggins Doncic outside pass to Levine shot clock at six the shot is good Doncic making the play Doncic has got nine assists now tonight the Heat have got two of three shots to go in the second and the Heat call time here it's a small piece of real estate on the court but aside from shots at the rim, the corner three, now the most common shot in the NBA. And arguably the most efficient shot in the game. Obviously dunks and free throws are what you want most. But 22 feet away instead of 23-9. That half step closer, B.A., is making a difference in the shooting numbers. John Collins checked in for Charlotte. Caruso comes in for Doncic. No good on that one. At the line for the Heat. Good on the second one. And here are the Hornets now. Outside Levine. And out of bounds, the Heat will take it. With this break, let's bring up the teams who've been clicking offensively over the last month. Number one, Charlotte. Well, over the last month, they started to hit a high percentage of shots, and I think it's due primarily to great shot selection. Sharp, he's checked in for Hardaway. Pass to Favors. Leonard against Levine. Here's Highsmith. Fires from deep. Zach Levine clears it away. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Now here's Wiggins. Outside Levine. On the wing, Caruso. Back to Levine. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Collins. Oh, Favors with a block. Denied by Favors. Normally a guy in the top 20 range of the league in swats. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And he's going for the oop here. It's stolen by Trent. And it's the Hornets on the break. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. The free throw drops for Caruso. And so it's Leonard who brings up the ball for the Heat. Trailing by 19. Favors with a screen on Levine. Pass to Favors. Ooh, poked away. 
Levine with a steal. Down low. Here's Wiggins. Uh, Wiggins has showed himself over the past couple of seasons as being a great two-way player. He can still do damage on the offensive end. Don't get that twisted. And the Heat making a change here. Clark's checked in. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. The Heat always focused on the big prize. Coach Spolster said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and the toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Well, he would know, Allie. Thank you. Collins showing more and more some moves that he's getting comfortable with. That one's off. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. And he sinks the second. Here's Horton Tucker. And he also played a big role in their last game with New York. A moment here for an injury report. Now for an update on Tyus Jones' injury. Let's check in with Allie LaForce. I had a moment to catch up with the Heat's head athletic trainer. All signs point to a high ankle sprain, something that they're going to have to be very careful with. And the timing of this injury hurts right in the middle of the schedule. Let's hope it's a quick recovery. B.A.? All right, Allie, thank you. Sadly, that's not the news fans were hoping for, guys. Definitely not. Seems like he's got a long, tough road ahead of him. Yeah, and this makes it particularly rough for this team. Other teammates now are going to have to step up, and it seems like it's going to be an extended period of time, so not easy to do. That one goes in. Good execution. Timeout, timeout. They're getting some short-range looks here. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Charlotte making some changes. Plumley's checked in for Wiggins. Bradley Beal comes in for Trent. And Doncic has subbed in for Caruso. Doncic outside. Pass to Plumley and stolen by Clark. And he lobs it up. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. And they're running. And it's blocked by Clark. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Clark. And the Heat with some changes. Jonas Valanciunas comes in for Heisman, and Hardaway is subbed in for Kawhi Leonard. Levine passes to Plumley. Oh, oh he got his wow. timing down. Boom, he jams it straight down. Well, such a big body, Plumley does possess explosive verticality, and then, of course, a power finish. And Bradley Beal is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul, second team foul. Off the inbound pass. And the dunk by Valanciunas. I like when Valanciunas takes charge. Ferocious that time on the take. Doncic with it. And Clark picks him up defensively. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Collins has got four points now in the quarter. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Hardaway. He's now one for two with that bucket. Tim Hardaway Jr. is just a tremendous athlete. He spots a great route to the rim and doesn't settle. Kicks it to Doncic. Back to Levine. The three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Pass to Clark. 
Here's Sharp, pounded by Beal. Here's Clark, and the layup falls. Brandon. Clark's got six. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Doncic outside. Beal outside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Give him eight points now. And that shows the toughness of the guard, Bradley Beal, just powering through. Pass to Sharp. And here's Hardaway. Here's Horton Tucker. Again, the Heat score. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Here's Levine, defended by Hardaway. And the ball out of play. The Heat will have it. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley, And Miami also making a switch. Leonard's checked in for Hardaway. One thirty-three left in the second. For Miami, they've gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's Clark. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Clark's got four points in the quarter. And talk about imposing your will. That's ten straight points in the paint. Doncic left side to the inside. And Beal gets it to go on the assist from Doncic. He's such a polished scorer. Bradley Beal getting to the interior. Levine against Leonard. Kicks it out to Clark. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Now the Hornets moving it up. Up the floor. A oh, nice shot by Doncic. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. The Heat have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. Leonard on the wing. Shot from 16. Hornets with the rebound. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. And Doncic hammers it home. A nice dime from Zubats. His floor awareness is solid. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Sometimes you just have an off night, guys, and that's what we've seen so far. Throws it up high. Leonard can't get it to go. Doncic outside. For three, Collins. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Foul. Jonas Valanciunas. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Free throw, no good for Collins. But Collins has such concentration when he's out on the floor, and it can help really steady a basketball team. And so it's Charlotte in total control. Up by 29 going into the break. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. Howdy, folks. The moment you've been waiting for is here. Before we recap the first half, let's see what the standings look like in the East. Taking a look at Charlotte, they've been stuck in the middle tier. Not good enough to challenge for a chip, but not bad enough to get a high draft pick. They're really going to need the young. And now looking at that first half of play, what a performance from the great Luka Doncic. I feel like every time we do Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. 
Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Kawhi Leonard out there with Brandon Clark. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Shaden Sharp. And it's Horton Tucker in at the one spot. And you know he's so good coming off the pick and roll. But what do you have to take away? There's so many ways Leonard can hurt you offensively. Doncic passes to Levine. And here we go. The Heat fast break. And the basket by Leonard. Leonard's got four points in the quarter. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim, that's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. All eyes on Luka. The defense forgot about his teammates. Heat shooting it well, almost 50% for the floor. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Leonard. Double team on Leonard. It's tipped. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Beal from outside. And it's Miami with a rebound. Valanciunas has got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Horton Tucker. He's covered closely. Leonard for three. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Those 2014 NBA Finals featured tons of Hall of Famers. Tim Duncan, LeBron, D. Wade. And maybe the guy who was unintroduced but now introduced as one in Kawhi Leonard. Man, he just stole the show winning the series MVP. He did an unreal job on LeBron defensively. Shot 58% from three. What an all-time two-way performance, B.A. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That'll be a second foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. And a chance here to check out some stats for Kawhi Leonard. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. Doncic. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. The free throw drops from Valanciunas. There are ways to get a guy like Jonas Valanciunas to be aggressive in the game. you got to feed the big man, so get him the ball earlier. Get it to him often. And stolen by Clark. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. And time for us to check in on the NBA assist leaders over the last 10 games. Third is Luka Doncic. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball, setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. The Heat have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Valanciunas. Shoots over Zubats. The long arms of Zubats creating some pretty smothering coverage out there. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Leonard. On target from about 13 feet. Leonard's got six in the quarter. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Zubats does a great job of sniffing out offensive rebounds and beats his guy to the spot. Leonard against Levine. The floater is rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got four rebounds now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Valanciunas with a rebound. The Heat have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Sharp passes to Clark. And it's blocked by Collins. No, sir. Collins sending that one away. On the wing, Levine. 
Clark covers. Three pointer. Beal. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists in the game. Pass to Valentunas. Here's Sharp. Pounded by Beal. Sharp passes to Valentunas. Here's Clark. Clock at six. Here's Horton Tucker. No good on the three. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Doncic passes to Levine. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Leonard outside. Here's Horton Tucker. He takes it in. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Zubak passes to Doncic. And here's Levine. And yep, it's good. Levine's got 15 points. And I love when your guards take it inside. Levine willing to get into the paint. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Valanciunas. Miami, no good that time either. And Doncic has got the ball here for the Hornets. Kicks it out to Collins. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. Taking a look at Charlotte, they're in eighth place with plenty of games to be played. And, of course, there's the Heat. They're five spots behind them. I think for the Heat, at this point, you really need to focus on blocking out negative energy. You have to play for one another. There's still time to turn things around. I don't think there's any one thing that's going to suddenly solve all these problems, but the number one thing is just to relax. They're trying so hard to right the ship, and you can see how much it's affecting their play. You can't be thinking and playing at the same time. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, some have called Kawhi Leonard a cyborg, but he said, quote, a coach can't put a battery in your back and tell you to play harder to go win games. You have to have the mindset, and you have to train your body to reach the level that you want to play at, guys. No doubt. He is always locked in. Thanks, Alec. Wiggins passes to Doncic. Outside for Levine. Back to Doncic. Great D that time from Horton Tucker. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Hardaway, the pass to Horton Tucker. Clark outside. And Valanchunas gets it to go on the assist by Clark. Valanchunas has got 11 points. Charlotte has gone 1 of 2 shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And there's a whistle. That goes on Taylor Horton Tucker. That's his third foul so far. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. And the Hornets making a change here. Trent's checked in. Highsmith, he's checked in for Miami. Holiday comes in for Sharp. Outside Levine. Let's it go from deep. Knocks it down from distance. Levine's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. Caruso, he's checked in for Doncic. Leonard's checked in for Miami. Yeah, this is an unbelievable performance from Levine. His offensive skill set is amazing. Miami shooting 35% in the third quarter. Hardaway against Trent. Right side, Hardaway. Pass to Valanchunas. Missed it there. He's four for nine now. Charlotte has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. On the wing, Caruso. Leonard defending. Here's Levine. 
Back to Caruso. And it goes in for the dunk. You got to keep that head up, and Levine knows that. Able to hit his man in stride there. The Heat shooting 41% on this game. Here's Horton Tucker. Out to Leonard. Takes the three. And the three-pointer goes. Leonard's got nine points now in the second half. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it. Went right into the shot. Caruso finds Zubats. From the wing. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. It's the Hornets delivering the blowout. And we'll be back right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got John Collins. Gary Trent is out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. And it's... Levine in at the small forward position. That's the Hornets five. Favors. And the dunk by Favors. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in, but he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Pass to Levine. And Levine threw it down. <laughs> That's the sauce right there. I mean, every night, Levine approaches the rim like it's a dunk contest. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Gordon Tucker with it. Beal picks him up. Wiggins against Leonard. Not going to go that time. Nice D from Levine. Well, the Hornets shooting has been on another level. 68% for the game. And here comes the break. Pass to Horton Tucker. Puts up a three. The rebound by Wiggins. And so it's Wiggins with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. It's Beal on the wing. Defended by Horton Tucker. They get it back. Here's Collins. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Love the aggressive attitude from Collins, making the D whack him on the way up. That free throw misses. Under the new collective bargaining agreement, the all-NBA teams will now be positionless. What do you think about that, Brent? Yeah, I love it. I mean, you're awarding the players that had the best seasons, and if it happens to be guard-heavy or big-heavy or wing-heavy, so be it. The 15 best players are going to get the acknowledgement that all the hard work and all the consistency and what they put into the season, that's going to pay off. Caruso finds Plumley. It's Wiggins on the wing. Caruso outside. Pass to Wiggins. Just five to shoot. And stolen by Clark. And here we go. The Heat fast break. Leonard against Plumley. Leonard, good. Yeah, Leonard can do this. He can just take over a game offensively. The Hornets have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Caruso, the pass to Wiggins. Collins outside. Pure from three-point range. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Clark outside. Leonard for three. Oh, my goodness! 
He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. That one belongs to Wiggins. Charlotte making some changes. Williams comes in for Collins, and it's Morris in for Trent. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Miami. Sharp comes in for Hardaway, and the free throw, no good. Uh, it's been tough with all the injuries, but Kawhi is a top 75 player, rightfully so. Do not question his greatness. It's hard to not think about the what-ifs with him. Morris outside. Six to shoot. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds. It'll be heat ball. Luka Doncic has checked in for Charlotte. Coming onto the floor for your Hornets. Number 77. So it's Miami now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. Leonard looking around. Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. I like to see Leonard's ability to dish the ball off the screen and roll. It's becoming a huge advantage for this team. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Now the Hornets moving it up. And he lobs it up top. And stolen by Leonard. Hornets foul call. Mason Plumlee. First personal foul. Second Miami's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Inside, here's Valanciunas. And slammed at home, and a foul. A chance at another point at the line. And the third that one on Doncic. Free throw drops for Valanciunas. For Charlotte, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Now here's Doncic, defended by Horton Tucker. Pass to Plumley. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. You gotta love his unselfishness. And you know his coach does as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Here's Valanciunas. Puts the move on. And it's good on the lay-in. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Now here's Doncic. He's guarded closely, and it's going to be a three-second call. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. Here's Leonard. Hornets with the rebound. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Doncic outside, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his third foul so far. The Hornets making a switch here. Trent's checked in. Coming onto the floor for your Hornets. Heat on D. To the middle. Here's Caruso. Miami grabs the miss. Gordon Tucker's got four rebounds now. On the take. Shoots over Wiggins. Misses off the right iron. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. Second personal foul. Team foul. That's good from Trent. And so he makes both from the line. And with the new CBA breath, the league making things a little more challenging for the top spending teams. Yeah, B.A., is there a chance that big market teams become a little bit more frugal? Because above that 17 and a half 
million dollar apron you lose the taxpayer mid-level can't shop the buyout market like you used to to bolster a team that just needs maybe one veteran piece to finish off a season and put themselves in better position there's definitely some trade restrictions that are going to keep teams from having some fluidity so it's buyer beware and the big spenders are going to have to be a little bit more careful Clark the pass to Horton Tucker and there's the call on Mason Pumley that'll be a second foul of the game the Hornets making a switch here. Team back. Coming on to the floor for your Hornets. Sharp passes to Leonard. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Grant? You know, B.A. storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Caruso outside. Shot clock at five. Back to Trent. Second shot opportunity. No luck on that one. Great D that time from Horton Tucker. Miami has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Hornets. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. And just two tough rebounding teams. But they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Luka Doncic. And with all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. Wiggins, he's checked in for Charlotte. Caruso, the pass to Wiggins. And he dunks it down. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Here's Hardaway. Connects. The jumper drops. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Heat. Heat. Ball. Heat substitution. Number 25, Johnny Davis. And it's Miami's ball. They trail by 18. Horton Tucker, the pass to Hardaway. Again, the Heat score. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. Slam dunk by Plumley. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. So Charlotte takes this one by a big margin. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've 